In this biochemistry video, we're going to look at how fatty acids travel from the cytosol into the mitochondria, where they will be oxidized for energy. According to Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry textbook, fatty acids that have 12 or fewer carbons do not require help from membrane transporters to enter the mitochondria. Now, those fatty acids that have 14 or more carbons, most these are most dietary fats and also the fats released from the adipose tissue, they require help and they undergo enzymatic reactions of the carnitine shuttle. This is a step-by-step -step process. The first step takes place in the cytosol where fatty acids are activated, is sterified to coenzyme A or CoA, and transesterified to carnitine. Fatty acylcarnitine or acylcarnitine is formed. The reaction is catalyzed by carnitine acyl transferase 1, also known as carnitine palmitol transferase 1. It is also known by other names as well. And this takes place at the outer mitochondrial membrane. Um, number two, or step two, is when this preparation allows for the passage of acylcarnitine into the intermembrane space. This is denoted with number two. In step three, acylcarnitine esters will then move into the mitochondrial matrix by facilitated diffusion through carnitine acylcarnitine translocase. In the matrix, the fatty acyl goes from carnitine to coenzyme A or CoA, and the enzyme that facilitates this reaction is carnitine acyl transferase 2, also known as carnitine palmitoyl transferase 2. Then carnitine is released and can diffuse back across the membrane via the same uh, transporter, that is carnitine acyl carnitine translocase. And then the entire process can be repeated all over again. Important to point out is that acyl transferase 1 or CPT1 in red exerts a negative feedback mechanism with melanyl CoA, the first intermediate in the synthesis of fatty acids, and this prevents the simultaneous synthesis and breakdown of fatty acids. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.